Blessings, everyone. It is the full moon today, and the energy is just, it's very different. It feels very peaceful. Um, kind of at a loss for words as to how to describe it. It just feels like perfectly still. And so I was interested to pull an oracle today and I was very drawn to messages of, of the spirits of nature. Um, it does have a very grounded earth energy to it today, but it's a, it's a piece, a new peaceful experience for me anyway. And so I love the energy because it's so new and different and I wanted to see what would come out. So I would like to thank source guides, ancients, all the creatures, nature, creation, elements, elementals, Mother Earth, all that's with us here right now to bring a reading for the highest good. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm kind of like leaning into the table today because the way it's situated, my tripod kind of got a wobbly leg. And this seems to be, whoops, the only way that I can get the tripod to stand still. So I'm kind of literally leaning into the oracle reading. Okay. Oh, first card. Let's see. I want to, this one came up. Island, number 19, detachment. Which is an interesting um, card to come out in energy because I would say kind of maybe that's a feeling that's going along with the peace today where it feels not detached in a bad way. Obviously, you can see the island is lush and green and thriving. And the, the water is beautiful and peaceful around it. So I feel like it's a detachment in a sense of peaceful, long time coming feeling. That um, what we're detaching from is literally all the dramas and the illusions and the stressors and everything that... that creates ripples in the peace. And so I'm going to read from the book. This is number 19. Okay. You're feeling distant and removed from others. It's a familiar sense of loneliness and alienation. Perhaps childhood experiences have taught you to remain aloof as a form of protection. By keeping your distance from others, you find some comfort in that there are few demands for you to meet and you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Now, however, remaining withdrawn from your community has begun to feel like being stranded on a desert island. The self-isolation and sense of disconnection has gone on for a while. Some family and friends have progressively made less of an effort to contact you or stopped contacting you altogether. You've convinced yourself that you don't really need your relationships with people or even spirit. Aside from any benefits of going at it alone, there's a deep hunger for connection. You try to satisfy that craving by filling the time with compulsive activities and obsessive and addictive preoccupations. It's time now to reach out to others, to be honest with yourself, and you need contact with family and friends. Renew those attachments despite any reservations. Recognize your addictions and worldly occupations are not filling the void that can only be satisfied by, re by renewing and reactivating your connection to others with spirit. And so, it's an interesting contrast because I know what the book is saying. 
And I agree with, with much of that. I, I feel like a lot of us have, um, especially with social media and things, we've, we've, it's easy to make those connections and then pull away and then make those connections and pull away. So it's a safe space to have a connection when we're on social media because um, we have more control over that. And, and I understand that that perception of it and I also understand in life um, it's very easy to throw yourself into things whether it's your work or a hobby um, we need the balance we need to be social and loving and and nurturing with each other and and have that time but I understand that too much alone time as well the spirit is showing me island if the irony is I live on Long Island so I can say this with authority that that living um, away from everything can after a while really start to turn into isolation and it's sometimes it's it's not always easy to notice when this is happening because we become a creature of habit sometimes and we fall into that space where if we're alone nothing can happen if we're alone where not having to answer or answer questions or maybe the people around us are are making us feel like we have to dive into a space emotionally uh, they're expecting things of us that we're not interested in doing so i think part of this message spirit is kind of bringing through is that we need to find the balance and understand the fine line between isolation and peace. Because peace should always feel like that we can bring that into our day, meaning that we could be surrounded by family and friends or on social media or at our work or in our hobbies, wherever we are. In, in, in the middle of the busiest city street we could think of. And there's still that peace. That is something that is innate within us. We don't necessarily have to go off and isolate to be peaceful. And so there is a time when we need to be alone and have that stillness, detached from everything. Um, just kind of be the observer, even to ourselves. That is a, that's a very powerful space to be in when we're not sure which way to go sometimes there's a lot of things we're being pulled this way and that way and um this one needs us and this one needs our advice and, or or we get a little anxiety where we feel like everything's happening and we and we don't do anything because it's just too overwhelming and so the detachment can be in a sense of we're observing ourselves we're observing our emotions hmm I'm feeling stressed. Do we know exactly? Is it any one thing? Is it because we're spreading too thin and thinking of everything at once? Um, could it be overwhelming and we need to sit and observe a situation? Maybe maybe we're in the middle of a family situation. Uh, it's kind of a chaos thing, you know. It could be time to sell the house and all of a sudden now everybody's got an input and, and we kind of want to just you know we didn't ask for advice and so how do we how do we detach from that from the emotional aspect of things and then just kind of observe it and notice how we're feeling about it so we can find that stillness and that peace we have to be like the island we're surrounded by the water that's whatever it is in, in our daily life that's going on. There's the stillness there. And then we have the clouds and, and the blue sky above us. And we're here, solitary, thriving. But we're surrounded by, the sky isn't still, the sky is moving, the sky is always, the atmosphere is moving and, and the clouds are, are in motion. And even though we can't see the water, it is. It, it's got the tides are moving, and and there's there's different moments when things underneath are moving with with the currents. And so, yes, 
these things are going around us. You know, sometimes the clouds, they're going to bring rain. And sometimes there's going to be winds that kick up the, the waves in the sea. But that's why we have to observe. We have to detach. Non-judgmental. And sometimes when we're in these situations, or whether it's making a career choice or health decisions, something a family member needs our advice, we have to remember that the island is staying where it is. It's in that center. It's in its peace. Everything else is going on around it. And we can either become part of that and take on the chaos, which is the emotions of everything, or we can detach from the emotions and just allow people or situations to show us what it is. We have to trust that in our peace, we're directly experiencing what we need to from the moment or the situation. And I feel like that's a very strong thing that's coming through with this because when we get caught up in everything, you know, um, maybe somebody wants us to be angry with them. You know, they're they're They've just come back from the store and they feel like they've been robbed. You know, of this, there was a sale and I didn't get the price. It was the last day and they're just going on the rant or whatever it is. And, and you're just kind of listening and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in your own peaceful space. And now this, we have to detach from that. Detach from the response of it. We don't always have to respond. We don't always have to have an answer. We can listen in our peaceful space, being the island, and just say, hmm, this person is angry, they're having a bad day, they, they're in their emotional space. How do we support that? And that's being detached from the emotional response and just listening to be there sometimes is enough. And a lot of times people will, they don't feel like they've made their point unless they're seeing some kind of an emotional reaction. So that's another time. Sometimes we detach and we move away from everybody and we are on that lonely island because we don't want to have to respond all the time and, and be emotional. And so maybe part of this is asking us to communicate that with people. I see that you came back from the store, you're really angry. And I understand your anger. I don't know if I have a solution for that, but I understand it. And sometimes just letting someone know that you're noticing their emotions, but you don't have to mirror that for them to feel heard and understood can help. So I hope, um, I hope in some way this, um, this message from spirit uh, sometimes, I, again, I apologize if I talk really fast during these. It's because I'm, I'm getting so many, um, there's different energies coming through and, and giving me all kinds of different perspectives and trying to, from my point of understanding, look in my brain file here and, and give me scenarios that I could somehow use to get the point across. And so um, I tend to speak fast and I'm working on that because I want to get the message across um, as thoroughly as possible from as many different perspectives the Spirit is giving me. And so um, I do hope that somehow this may inspire us today. Uh, as I said, the, the full moon energy, I'm feeling it. It feels very, very peaceful. It, it does feel detached in a sense because it feels like no matter what's going on on the outside, that's, that space inside is centered. It, it, it's in a space of observation. I I feel that, and and I'm hoping that everybody else gets to experience that today too, because we see so many different aspects of things, and that is a wonderful space to approach anything going on around us, any kind of decisions or um, scenarios with family aspects, friend aspects. So we don't have to feel like we have to be in an island to feel that peace. Much love to everyone. Don't forget to put your crystals out tonight. If you're someone who puts them out, the moon is going to be wonderful. That energy is, the new beginning energy is, is just going to supercharge everything. So have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening.